not a fan of the two teams that are in this game today, it is a holiday for you because it is Super Bowl Sunday. Wow. I can't. First of all, I can't believe that me, Chris Soriano, that I actually said Super Bowl and there's nobody here to yell at me. Wow, I, I must I must be in the fucking Twilight Zone. But even if you're not a Patriots fan, even if you're not a Seahawks fan, it is Super Bowl Sunday, and it is a glorious time of the year. It's also bittersweet because you know that this is the last time that we'll have football until August. Because if you're a diehard football fan like myself, you do get into the August preseason games because it means football is here. But a happy day today. It is the Super Bowl, and if, especially if you're a Patriots or a Seahawks fan, it is come full circle for you. If not, and you're still a football fan, hey, it's a game. Uh, some people will be working the game today. Some people will be partying. Some people will be having people over the house watching the game. And it's just something that America kind of bonds over Super Bowl Sunday, and I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to a Katy Perry wardrobe malfunction. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, my God. Those fucking tits hanging out Woo. on NBC. Yeah, baby. Al Michaels, do you believe in miracles? We've seen Katy Perry's breasts on live television. Um, but I digress. Who is going to win Super Bowl Forty Nine? A very tough game. And people say, no, it's not, Chris. It should be Seahawks all the way. <sighs> the Seahawks have a couple of strengths. One being corner. I think Richard Sherman is far better than Darrell Rivas. I think Sherman can shut you down. Well, I think Rivas gives up a lot of big plays. Sherman has a lot more interceptions than Revis does the last couple of years. Quarterback, you got to go with the Patriots, with Brady. That's an edge with the Patriots. Coaching, Patriots. Kicking, special teams, give it to Seattle. So it's, it's evenly matched. Now, I know a lot of people said, hey, you know, there's no way that the Patriots can go far because that defense is horrible. That defense has stepped it up. After that loss to Kansas City, they have stepped it up. And the Patriots are playing pretty well right now. And I know you want to say the Fleet Gate, and you want to say, oh, well, they're cheaters. No matter if they're cheaters or not, the Patriots are here. Patriots aren't going anywhere. Patriots have not been disqualified. The Patriots are playing the game today. It's been a long time since the Patriots have won a Super Bowl and have hoisted a Lombardi Trophy. It's been a long time. Last time the Patriots were in Arizona, a person by the name of Eli Manning was driving down the field and leading the New York football giants to a Super Bowl win. Ending the Patriots' perfect season. Cam Chancellor... He's probable. Richard Sherman, we don't know if he'll play. He may have a kid. The Seahawks have said they respect Richard Sherman's decision to play or not, whether he has the baby, whether his wife has the baby or not. But I'm not even factoring any of that in. I'm factoring that I feel that the Patriots need this more. Belichick knows that. Brady knows that. Belichick's getting older. Brady's getting older. At what point do you say, I think this is close to being over? And we have seen that it is not easy at all to A, win a Super Bowl. Patriots haven't done one since 2004. And... It is not easy to get to a Super Bowl. They've only been to a handful since 2004. Two. Two losses to the Giants. So, 
I think Brady and Belichick are going into the, and this is not a knock on the Seahawks, because the Seahawks have a distinction of uh, being back-to-back champions and kind of starting up a dynasty similar to what the Patriots started years ago. And if the Seahawks do win this tomorrow, or today, excuse me, later today, if the Seahawks do win this today, then you will see the passing of the torch. And there's a new dynasty in town. But I don't think that's going to happen. I am... Since I started on radio picking Super Bowls, I am 4-1. and one. My one loss was last year. I picked the Broncos over Seattle. I'm picking against Seattle again. And this is not anything against them. Seahawks fans are probably saying, Chris, you haven't picked my team to win a Super Bowl in each of the two years that they've been in it. Well, listen, they were going up against Peyton Manning last year. I thought, hey, Peyton's going to Peyton's gonna pull this off, maybe. And Seattle wasn't as hyped as they were this year. Big mistake last year, but they're going up against Tom Brady. And for those of you who don't think that Tom Brady needs this, oh, he, oh he's, got his, he's got his three rings. Tom's fine. No. No. Look at Jeter in baseball. Jeter was winning title after title. He won four titles from 96 to 2000. From 2001 until 2014, one championship. One. You don't think that stings a ball player? A ball player that started off early in his career with nothing but championships and to have a drought? It stings. It burns you. I'm going today. Final score, Patriots 24. Seahawks 20. In Super Bowl 49. I will be rooting for me to drop to 4-2 and two since I've been picking games on the radio and on TV. But just something about the Patriots, you know, this whole thing with the flake gate and everything, and uh, I guarantee you they have that, the world, it, you know, it's, it's us against the world mentality. Kind of like what the Jets had in their playoff run a couple years ago when they were going to back-to-back AFC title games. And trust me, as a coach, well, not nearly as a coach in, in professional sports, but as a coach on the local scene in Staten Island, I've used that us against the world mentality a lot. And it does work. It does work. If you can motivate your guys enough to believe, and it's not anything to believe, the whole world hates the Patriots. Kraft feels like Goodell didn't even step up for them. And they're buddy-buddy. So I think the Patriots do have that us-against-the-world mentality. And I think Brady and Belichick, and I think for the last time, because I, I, I think it's starting to get where this could be it for them in terms of winning it all. I think for one last time, Brady outduels the kid, Ryan I mean, Wilson, and it's safe to say that the Seahawks will have a dynasty going. And hey, two two trips to the Super Bowl in a row is close enough. But Tom Brady will say tomorrow, hey, Russell. No. You're not going back to back yet. I gotta get one more. So today, in Super Bowl 49, in the league where they play for pay. Patriots, 24. Seahawks, 20, and hopefully a Katy Perry wardrobe malfunction. That is my predictions for a Super Bowl 49 from Glendale, Arizona. Enjoy the game. Go Seahawks. But I think the Evil Empire has one more championship 
up their sleeve. And I think they'll hoist the Lombardi Trophy one last time. Brady and Belichick, you know what? As much as I hate them, as much as I cannot stomach them, you can't tell me, even if they win today, that they didn't earn it. I hate the Patriots. I despise the Patriots. But I respect the Patriots. And no matter what people say about the flate gate and this and that and cheaters, the bottom line is they've won. My teams have it. They have. And I respect them. I respect the New England Patriots. Patriots 24, Seahawks 20. Enjoy Super Bowl 49 today.